Hey everybody, this is Jody Ann Johnson with the 95th episode of Coffee with Jody, and I am a people strategist and champion. Today we're going to be talking about the four day work week and why that matters to business. Imagine having the time to run an errand, have a doctor's appointment without having to ask for permission to take time off work, visit a sick family member, or heck, even go to the beach and take a rest. Well, a lot of people found during the pandemic that having a shorter work week, because a lot of businesses cut down the hours so that they could conserve dollars, found that their employees were much happier and just as focused and productive on the four days that they were there. Throughout the pandemic, we found skyrocketing rates of stress and burnout. And having a shorter work week was one of the things that made it a little bit more workable for people. I'm beginning to see momentum around the world for this particular idea of a four day work week. As a matter of fact, there's some pretty significant companies and even governments that are exploring this as a viable opportunity. The Atlantic Magazine said going to a four day work week looks like it's going to be the next evolution in work and that it's inevitable. So who are some of the companies that are doing this? Unilever is practicing this uh, as a case study in New Zealand. Kickstarter is implementing a four day work week. Microsoft Japan did the four day work week in 2019 and found that productivity increased 40%. There's also a number of other smaller companies that are doing this that you may not have heard of. Unito is a workflow uh, software company. They've gone to a four day work week. Buffer System Software has gone to a four day work week. Elephant Ventures has gone to a four day work week. And Spain is embarking on a three year study of the impact of a four day work week in the government sector. So a four day work week isn't so outside the realm of where we're headed. I can tell you that all of my clients are heavily involved in recruiting right now. And what we're finding is that remote and flexible work is extremely important to people. We're also finding that, that they are demanding a fair wage and salary. They have access to Glassdoor and to Payscale and other softwares that can tell them what the average uh, mean salary is for their job with the number of years of experience that they have. And so they come in armed with these kinds of questions. Do you have a social corporate responsibility program? Um, I know that the salary range is between this and this. Um, can I work remote? Can it be flexible? Can I do a four day work week? And companies that are willing to engage in these and to trust the employees to actually do the work because they can manage it through workflow software such as Asana or Monday.com are able to take advantage of the talent that's out there that's demanding. And good talent is always going to be demanding because they know their worth. So I'm sharing with you this concept because I do see the inevitableness of this. In the 1900s, Henry Ford was one of the people who actually got a weekend implemented into our labor, into our work world. It was a seven day work week prior to that. And his motivation was that people should have time off to enjoy the cars that he was selling. Now it's an absolute standard to have a weekend, right? So I, rather than being afraid of it, what I'd love for you to do is to look at if I were going to implement that in my company, what would it take? How would I measure and make sure that we're providing the kinds of environments for great talent to come and work with us? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So message me on what are your thoughts about a four day work week. And then if you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it. And if you'd like to find out more about how a four day work week and business coaching can help you to reach your company's goals, 
Please schedule a time with me in the calendar link below for a discovery call. Thank you for watching this video. Bye for now.